Hi, my name is Denisha and welcome to another art vlog. Also, Happy New Year! I hope that you guys enjoyed the holidays or at least the first couple of days in this new year. I've pretty much took some time off to rest and I'm ready for the new year. <laughs> well, as much as I would like to say that I am so ready to punch this year, well, I don't really want to punch this year, but you know what I'm trying to say. As much as I want to say I'm ready for this year, with everything that I've written in my diary, with all my goals and everything, I couldn't help but feel overwhelmed of all the ideas I have brought for this year. So we're going to start this first video of this year with something simple and fun. So I did this painting in one of my vlogs and you guys know that I was trying to do it for this frame, but I think I made it too big and I'm actually hiding a good part of the painting in between this cover and I want to make a new frame for it that's supposed to showcase what I painted this landscape for. So for this vlog we are going to do a different painting for this framing and then we'll take this out. And for this week's painting we're going to be doing Bob Ross painting but make it Studio Ghibli style. I think I need to let this sit in the sun because it had some UV interaction. All right, we're back in business. So for the Bob Ross painting, I decided to paint this one called The Final Grace. I think it's simple enough for me and I also don't think many of you realize that painting Bob Ross is not new to me as my earliest videos were following Bob Ross tutorial when it was trending a while back. Although I think I privated those videos now but I think they are still special moments to me as that was around the time I started thinking about sharing my art online in video form. It just took me a very long time to get comfortable in front of the camera but nonetheless I'm here now and I hope that you are as excited as me for this fun art journey. So I reached the part of the painting when it's time to do the clouds and in terms of Sergio Ghibli style, I kind of wanted to go this way, maybe. Um, from the painting itself, it doesn't look like the cloud is as... It's a mix between fluffy like this, but also not as fluffy. So I'm thinking a mix between this one and this one. <laughs> I don't have this huge painting in my studio, but I like what I did up there because I really like the brush strokes. So that's my goal for it, this top portion. And for the mountain, I've actually done a tutorial before of how to paint Studio Ghibli Mountain. So I'm just going to be putting that in front of me and kind of loosely follow this style and looking at the Bob Ross painting at the same time and try to merge them in. Mm -hmm. 
doing the mountain first looked complicated because of the snow and the way light was falling in the painting but as soon as I started I was able to figure out how to add enough details to make it look like Bob Ross mountains but also make it Studio Ghibli style by keeping the brushstrokes simple without too much blending and I like the way that they turn out in the end. But before we continue with the rest of this painting video, I wanted to switch it up by including some new hobbies I've been picking up and sharing with you some moments in my life in between painting. I think that it is important for us artists to have other hobbies other than painting and it could be as simple as reading your favorite books, cooking, hiking, etc. And for this week, I wanted to try making a blanket by hand. got four pieces of yarn I can see in the viewfinder that this light is blinding so let me just change it okay I think this lighting is better um, I don't usually record nighttime as you can tell so I was trying to be cozy and everything so this is what I can do so hope you don't mind that but anyway we got some yarns at Joanne. I did not know how many I should get. So I just got four to start with. And again, I was trying to make a big blanket in my mind. But since it's my first time doing it, I'm just going to do a smaller blanket and just going to have a cozy time, turn on the TV and yeah, just enjoy it. Okay, this was a bit complicated at first, but I think I got the hang. Well, now that I say that, <laughs> where was I? I did kind of something. <laughs> it's like braiding, but more complicated. But I can see why people crochet, not that I'm crocheting or knitting, but this is kind of relaxing. So yeah, let me just see where that takes me. I'll probably end up making just a tiny through a blanket but this is so soft so far Somehow my back started hurting, so like Rachel Maxey would say, I became a floor troll. <laughs> but really though, it was actually nicer to do it on the floor. I think 
it's time for me to go to bed because it's 9 p.m. and my back hurts still. <laughs> but I think it's a pretty decent progress. Uh, this is my first time doing it, so it took me a while to do the first row. But after a while, I did get the hang of it and putting it on the floor made it so much easier. So yeah, I'll be working on it after working while watching movies and everything. So stay tuned for the next video to see the completed blanket. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this little segment as I wanted to be someone who can hang out with you while you're cooking, painting or doing anything really and also inspire you to do things in life as well. As for the painting, I pretty much got into my zone and really enjoy painting the landscape because if you know me, you already know that I love painting nature. To me, painting nature is more forgiving in terms of getting everything exact, hence this translates into more confident brushstrokes which is something I've been trying to cultivate more this year. Another fun part of the painting was also adding the highlights on the trees and bushes, as to me it feels like I'm finally bringing them to life by having them capture the sunlight. And if you're curious on how to paint trees and bushes in Studio Ghibli style, I'll have the tutorial playlist linked down below, but basically I usually mix blue and yellow to make my own green, and if I want to make lighter greens I'll add more yellow and or more white depending on the light hitting the object. Plus sometimes mixing in a bit of brown can also help in making the trees slash bush a bit less cartoony or more natural in my opinion. Then you just have fun with the colors. I'm gonna call this painting done and I need to give it some time for it to dry so see you tomorrow for the framing. Here's the finished product. I think this looks better than the previous painting that I had, at least in terms of sizing, and I'll find a different framing for the other paintings, but I really enjoyed doing it. This was a great way to get started with 2024 and getting back into painting, especially after a long break I took, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below and I will see you in the next time. Allez, bye! So I had this painting. So I just this. We'll put the framing tomorrow. What is this?